So today we're going to talk about graphing from vertex forms. So the goal of today is going to be to summarize everything that we did in the investigation in class. So we want to graph given an equation in vertex form. Okay, so you saw uh, through your investigation that vertex form could look something like this, for example. So 2x minus 3 squared plus 5. Okay, and in general, it looks like y equals a number times x minus a number plus another number. Okay, so you should have seen in your investigation that this part right here moves the vertex right or left. This part right here moves the vertex up or down. This part right here seemed to stretch our parabola. Okay, so now we actually want to see um, what's happening. So first, uh, let's start the way that we usually start, and that's with a table of values. Okay, so I want to look at uh, just a base parabola of y equals x squared. Okay, so negative 2 squared is 4, negative 1 squared is 1, 0 squared is 0, 1 squared, 2 squared, and that's it. Okay, so this parabola has a vertex at zeros. So let's plot the points and then we'll talk about what the vertex is. So negative 2, 4 is one of the points. Negative 1, 1 is another point. 0, 0 is another point. 1, 1 is another point. 2, 4 is another point. Okay? So there is our parabola. Okay? So there's our parabola. Now we can see that there's a vertex at 0, 0. Okay? So that means that a base parabola has a vertex at 0, 0. Okay? Now, the rest of the parabola is formed by these other points which are symmetric around the axis of symmetry. Right? That's why it's called an axis of symmetry. And if I go to the right one, we go up 1. If I go to the right two, we go up four, okay? Notice on the left side, same thing. Left one, up one. Left two, up four, okay? Now, the relationship between that one, one, two, four is that the equation is x squared. So if I go over one, I'm gonna go up one squared, which is one. If I go over two, I'm gonna go up two squared, which is four. Negative one, negative 1 squared, negative 2, negative 2 squared, which is 4, okay? So with a parabola, we always want to think over 1, up 1. And then the next step is over 2, up 4, okay? So this is what we call the step pattern. Okay, so we have our basic step pattern, okay? Now, what does that mean for graphing? Well, when we're trying to graph, this parabola here has been modified a little bit, right? Remember we said that this is going to move our vertex right 1. And this, so I'm going to use a different color, that is going to move our vertex down 4. Right? So that was all part of the investigation. So that's going to put our vertex at right 1, down 4, which means 1, negative 4. Okay? So 1, negative 4. There's our vertex. Okay? Now, the step pattern is the next part that we have to take into account. So this parabola is not stretched. So that means that we want to use a regular step pattern. So step pattern is from the vertex, over 1, up 1, over 2, up 4. Left, over 1, up 1, over 2, up 4. So there is our parabola. Okay. 
All right. Now the next question is what happens if there's a multiplier here? So what happens if there's an A value? Okay. So here, first, let's list what's happening to our vertex. So remember we said that plus 2 in our uh, investigation looked like it moved the vertex left by 2. And the minus 6 will move the vertex down 6. Okay, So that puts our vertex left 2, negative 2, down 6, negative 6. Okay, so negative 2, negative 6. There's my vertex. Okay, now comes the next part. The A value. Okay, the A value affects our step pattern because we're going to take our step pattern and we're going to multiply it all by 2. Okay, so remember how our base parabola went to do that in black one over one up one over one up one and over two up four over two up four well now this two is actually taking that step pattern and multiplying it by two so what happens is we started the vertex and when we go over one instead of going up one we're going to multiply that by two so we're going to go over one up two over one up two and when we go over 2, normally we'd go up 4, but in this case we're going to go 2, 4, 8, right? Because 2 times 4, so we doubled the 4. So 2, and then instead of 4, we went 8. And on the other side, 2, and instead of 4, we're actually going to go 8. All right, so there's our parabola. Okay? So this parabola is like the original parabola, but it's been stretched vertically by two because it's ta we've taken the whole um, step pattern and we've multiplied the vertical part by two. Okay, so that's because of that two. Okay, so now let's see what happens if there's another number there. Okay, so 0 0.5. So first, let's talk about the vertex. So the plus four moves the vertex left four and the plus 2 moves the vertex up 2. So that means that our vertex is at negative 4, 2. So let's plot that, negative 4, 2. There's our vertex. Okay. So the next part is the A value. Okay. So now we're going to take our step pattern. and we're going to multiply it by 0 0.5. Okay, so we're always going to take our step pattern and multiply it by the A value. Okay, so let's see what happens. So our original problem would have been over 1 up 1, over 2 up 4, and same on the other side. But now our new parabola is over 1, and then up instead of 1, we're going to take that 1 and we're going to multiply it by 0 0.5. So over 1, up 0 0.5 because 1 times 0 0.5 is 0 0.5. Over 2, and then up instead of 4, we're going to multiply that 4 by 0 0.5, so it's 2. So over 1, up a half, over 2, up 2. On the left, same thing. All right? So all I've done is I've taken the step pattern of 4, and I've divided it by 2, or I've multiplied it by a half, sorry. And I've taken the step pattern of 1, and multiplied it by a half. So that gives me this parabola. Okay, so there's our new problem. Okay, all right, so now let's uh, state our conclusions. Okay, so the original step pattern of parabola is over 1, up 1, over 2, up 4. Okay, so 1, 1, and then 2, 4. The vertex decides where we start the step pattern, right? So it tells us where to put our beginning point. And the A value decides if step pattern changes. We multiply the vertical part of the step pattern by the A value. Okay? So that's that. Make sure you submit your questions. See you in class.